it's kind of like a New York mashup. This is like a salon. This is not like a backstage kind of fashion show. There are models, there's a street casting. Nothing in this show is specific or prescriptive. It's personal. Everyone has their own look. We're taking their look a little further. I love it. There's like transgender models here. There's like, there's everything, you know, and that's really New York. I like that. Wow. This season, it's really about individuality. So it's kind of all over the place. There's some, some red lips, some, you know, tons of mascara, some black eyes, some, you know, liner. Really trusting my team, my artists, to communicate with whoever's sitting in their chair and really get an idea from them of who they are as a person. What do they wear when they go out? If their thing is a red lip, if that's their trademark, if they do that every time they go out, then we're going to do that for them today. And they want, want them to feel good and confident in what they're wearing. <laughs> So we wanted to celebrate New York. We wanted to celebrate the people of New York, the energy of New York, the streets of New York, and what could take that to the next level, and it was the real people. It was the people of New York that make New York. I think the beauty of the fact that all the clothes fit all the people. You know, after you fit on a model that you're so precise about and you're so concerned about how it fits, that it evolved to the fact that it was able to fit on all these people. It was real, it was honest. It was clothes that I can see these people wearing, loving, having their own personality. Because I think what my job is as a designer is to offer clothes that allow a person to be who they are. I don't want the clothes wearing you, I want you wearing the clothes. It was really fun to see that whole take of kids from the street, people from the street, and, and putting them into the clothes. And there was so much enthusiasm on the runway. We certainly had the models who know how to walk and know how to give that model attitude. But there was a lot of real people models, if you will, that were in the show that were very enthusiastic and making sure that they felt very welcomed into the runway. Fun looks as well, you know, great big plaids that we're seeing everywhere, again, puffers on every runway, mixes of leather, even the interesting animal print, which is always a crowd pleaser, kind of a bit of a, a tiger print that was in the interesting, almost camouflage colors of olive, which is cool shoes, great backpacks, a lot of layering, a downtown sensibility really works. I've always been a huge fan of Donna. Everything she's done, I think she puts so much passion into and so much heart into. I am wearing DKNY. Oh, I was told this was a drop from uh, the show we're about to see, so. <laughs> I love this brand because it has so much about the city that I love, the fashion industry that I love, but also about cool and just like cool girls, young girls, hip girls doing the things that they can do. to be here. It's beautiful and fancy and I want to dress super sophisticated even though I'm kind of young and DKNY does an amazing job of putting those two together, a youthful sophistication.
I just love what it's about, you know, what it means. It's such a lifestyle, it's a way of life, it's a way of living. Being a city girl is just like being in the movies. You can do the, you can do the same thing. You can be glamorous and fabulous and go to work. lets you wear necklaces and bracelets and still be f fabulous. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a beautiful, sexy line. Am I a fan? Oh, definitely, yeah. I mean, she's such an iconic, incredible designer, and I went to her show last year, and I loved all the looks, and I can't wait to see what they have coming up now. I'm definitely wearing DKNY. I have this cool little blazer, cool little like sports bra, crop top thing happening, and some palazzo pants that I'm in love with. They're super, super fun and cozy. I like how it definitely has some edge to it, which is really cool. It's like chic, but edgy and, and like fresh at the same time. And I feel like Donna definitely knows how to dress the woman's body and she knows what's cool. Donna knows what's up. <laughs> So many tools that go into a collection to give it a point of view so that you don't have to change constantly. You can go from one to another and keep evolving. And that's the beauty of it. You know, the right shine when you need the shine, the right mat when you need the mat. And giving yourself a wardrobe that really works for you and goes with your old clothes and takes you to the future. So I always look at it from past, present, and future.